Imagine a planet where rivers once flowed, valleys were carved, and seasons changed like Earth. Could Mars have once had a climate that included seasonal weather patterns? Today's video will discuss the seasonal climate on the Red Planet and what roles did it play in the formation of life. The surface of Mars today is barren and dry. Evidence suggests that liquid water once flowed on its surface billions of years ago. The presence of long-term wet environments, such as evidence of ancient lakes on Mars, is well documented, but far less is known about short-term climate fluctuations. Scientists pondered whether these water bodies resulted from isolated incidents like meteor impacts or volcanic eruptions, temporarily melting ice, or if they were part of a more comprehensive global weather pattern. Observing weather conditions for two Martian years since its 2012 landing in Gale Crater, NASA's Curiosity rover has recorded seasonal fluctuations. After years of traversing silicate-rich terrain, NASA's Curiosity rover embarked on a new expedition into sulfate-laden surroundings, marking a momentous environmental transition. Recent revelations from NASA's Curiosity rover suggest that ancient Mars experienced seasonal weather akin to Earth's, featuring alternating wet and dry periods. Researchers have been left astonished that these distinct seasonal cycles might have played a pivotal role. The rover's diligent research team discerned a shift in mudcrack formations within this unfamiliar domain, a telltale sign of altered surface drying processes. These observations suggest intermittent water presence on Mars, implying water appearance, evaporation, and recurrence cycles, ultimately culminating in the polygonal patterns we now recognize as mudcracks. The presence of well-defined mud cracks suggests a history of high-frequency wet-dry cycles in early Martian environments. These discoveries have proposed the possibility of Mars once hosting seasonal weather patterns. As Sefton aptly describes, if you have a primordial soup and you dry things out, there is a chance that things will stick together as long as they don't get degraded by radiation or oxidation. This fascinating Martian chapter offers a unique opportunity to explore the polymerization of organic matter and its self-organization, all impeccably preserved in the geological record of the Red Planet. Lead scientist Nina Lanza, overseeing the ChemCam instrument aboard Curiosity, expressed her excitement. These captivating mud crack observations are helping us bridge the knowledge gap regarding Mars's watery history. How did Mars transform from a warm, aqueous world into the cold, arid landscape we see today. These mud cracks offer a glimpse into that transitional era when liquid water, though scarcer, still sculpted the Martian terrain. She continued, Moreover, these features hint at wet-dry conditions, akin to Earth's environments where organic molecules can thrive and life may find its foothold. Collectively, these revelations are painting a more vivid portrait of Mars as a potentially habitable planet. On Earth, when mud cracks initially form, they typically create a distinctive T-shaped pattern. However, as wetting and drying cycles ensue, these cracks transform into the more familiar Y-shaped pattern we observed on Mars. What's particularly intriguing about this discovery is the shallowness of these mud cracks, suggesting that the wet-dry cycles on Mars could have been seasonal or even more rapid, perhaps resembling flash floods. William Rapin and his team from the University of Toulouse, France, uncovered a remarkable pattern of hexagonal ridges in the mud of the Gale Crater, a remnant of a former marred lake. According to their assessment, these distinctive features could only have arisen from recurrent wet and dry conditions, each persisting for approximately a Martian year or less. For the first time, we can unequivocally demonstrate that Mars experienced cyclical hydrological variations akin to Earth's wet and dry seasons Rappin enthusiastically notes. While we were aware of Earth's seasonal shifts, we had little knowledge of other planets exhibiting such patterns. Now we have concrete evidence that Mars, too, had its distinct seasons. The scientists suspect that these ridges initially represented desiccated mud cracks. Subsequently, flooding and minerals would have filled them in, with some of the sediment getting eroded over time. However, a more resilient blend of mud and rock would have persevered ultimately giving rise to these distinct ridges. Rappin elaborates, These mud cracks, preserved as fossils, could only have formed through a seasonal climate, something operating at a high geological frequency 
Mars, the red planet, features extreme temperature swings due to its thin atmosphere, ranging from minus 195 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 125 degrees Celsius in polar winters to 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 degrees C in equatorial daytime. It experiences seasons more pronounced than Earth's, hosts colossal dust storms, and holds polar ice caps. These climatic features have a profound impact on the planet's surface and other geological processes. The hexagonal formations, approximately 4 centimeters in width, offered crucial clues of sustainability. They enabled Rappin and his colleagues to estimate that the water depth during these ancient cycles was around 2 centimeters. This suggests remarkable regularity, with these cycles likely recurring over a Martian year at that time, potentially persisting for millions of years. On Earth, we witness comparable patterns in certain environments, such as California's racetrack Playa. This region is typically a dry lake bed, but experiences the temporary filling of a shallow water layer during the rainy season. Remarkably, these rock formations date back approximately 3.6 billion years, aligning with the period when life is believed to have first emerged on our planet. Mark Sefton, from Imperial College London points out, if you have life on Earth, then why not life on Mars if conditions on both planets were about the same? What do you think? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. The likelihood of life originating on Mars is on par with Earth's based on our current understanding of the necessary conditions. These prerequisites include the presence of liquid water, organic materials, vital elements, and minerals as well as available energy sources. The scientists present multiple arguments suggesting that the odds of life emerging on Mars could surpass those on Earth for several reasons. First of all, Mars likely received more organic matter due to asteroid and comet impacts. Secondly, sulfur, a crucial element for biological processes, is more abundant on Mars. Also, Mars had a developmental advantage regarding life's origins as Earth underwent a sterilizing impact that led to the Moon's formation just 20 to 100 million years after its existence. Besides that, Mars underwent frequent wetting and drying cycles, as well as freezing and thawing, conditions that are key for concentrating organic compounds. These cycles were probably more prevalent on Mars in its early history. Additionally, while Earth had 95% of its landmass underwater, Mars only had 5% submerged. This means that despite its smaller size, Mars would have had three times the land area, providing more opportunities for life to arise. Beyond the alluring prospects for life, the cyclical wet-dry Mars weather may have contributed to the formation of essential life molecules including RNA and proteins arising from the building blocks of organic matter like amino acids and nucleotides. Laboratory experiments have shown that the chemical reactions required for processes like polymerization and condensation reactions often benefit from alternating periods of dehydration. As we gaze at Mars through our telescopes and explore its desolate terrain with robotic rovers, the question remains, could the red planet have once had seasonal cycles? Although the answer is still uncertain, every new finding edges us closer to comprehending Mars and the possibilities of extraterrestrial life. Keep an eye out as scientific research unveils this enigmatic planet's hidden mysteries. What do you think will this discovery lead us to the new possibilities of extraterrestrial life? We'd love to hear your opinions in the comments below. If this video sparked your interest, give it a galactic thumbs up and subscribe at warp speed. Before you go, click on the video on your screen for more exciting space explorations.